rising food prices may have you wondering if you should attempt some local food production yourself. Well, but before you get into a mad scramble to get some free eggs, you might want to hear from the voice of experience. John Batten has the story. <laughs> If you're hatching plans to save on eggs by raising chickens in your backyard, you might want to follow Liesl McCline's example. She now has 11 chickens. I love the eggs. You just cannot beat the eggs every single day. Like all barnyard residents, the chickens pull their own weight. And they work on my yard and fertilize my yard. But this barnyard is just south of the plaza. I call it town and country. <laughs> so I'm, I'm inner city, but... I'm fortunate to have an acre, so it's I'm not too close to any of the neighbors. And her first piece of advice is to be a good neighbor. Everyone gets Christmas baskets of eggs and honey and and tomatoes in the summer. She doesn't have a rooster. If perhaps you were sitting out on the uh, patio, you might hear some cluck clucking, but no cock a doodle doing. She learned a hard lesson about protecting her girls from predators. A four-foot fence does not keep the dogs out. She lost eight chickens that way. She also looks to the sky. These fishing lines deter owls and hawks. She keeps the coop warm with a heat lamp. Like any other animal, the chickens need daily care. It is work, and it's difficult when you travel to find a chicken sitter. But the payoff is more than eggs. I'm out in the backyard at 7 or 8 o'clock at night every night, and I wouldn't be back here looking at the snow and the moon. Looking at life sunny side up. John Batten, NBC Action News. McLean says abandoned chickens may seem like a good idea because of their smaller size, but she's found that just because they're small, that means they're more li likely to escape. And running down the street chasing a chicken is not an activity she recommends. All right.